I don't know how loud this is going to be. I have a fan on. Well, I have the ceiling fan and the regular fan. Welcome to the Wayward Widow. I got stuff to talk about. I have a tiny bit of a headache. Like, just kind of like sitting, you know, the kind that's just sitting there. I'm not sleeping. I come from a family of insomniacs. And uh, so I'm curious for the rest of my insomniac family you guys that don't sleep either and when I'm talking about my family I'm talking about my kids I think all of my kids maybe but one do not sleep well um, so three nights in a row I woke up at 1 30 and I was up all the way until two of the nights I was up all night this morning I fell back to sleep for two hours woke up because the garbage truck was out back making a lot of noise and I did one of those startle wakes, you know. I got my coffee. I'm in the living room. I'm actually right where I'm sitting. I'm just thinking of this now, which maybe is a good thing that this did not come to my mind until just now. Um, right where I'm sitting is where Sky's hospital bed was that he died in. Right where I'm sitting. Like I can still even see the marks in the carpet. Okay, well, I don't know what that means that I didn't think of it as I sat here, but I was looking at the backdrop of the tree and the moon and this beautiful setting that he loved to look at. Uh, today is 23 weeks since he passed on. They got to go. 23 weeks today. And I'm still standing. It's pretty good. We got the clouds have rolled in. We're supposed to get rain for the next five days, today and the next four days. And the temperatures are going down in the 70s. I'm going to love every minute of that, every minute. Now, the past couple of days has not been awful with humidity. We've had the higher temperature, but not the humidity, and that's made all the difference. I have water. I'm defrosting here and dripping. Uh... Bear with me because I'm going to be all over the place. But what else is new? I have the card. I have the card. I do. Okay, this is unknown. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why they, it's called the present. We've heard that how many times? Thousands and thousands. The action is place both feet on the ground. Take long and deep breaths to keep you grounded and stay present. Uh, that's mindfulness and what we're supposed to do as humans is we're supposed to just concentrate on what we're doing right this second we are it does us no good to think about the past it does us no good to worry about the future because we don't know what's going to happen in the next minute or second so the ideal thing is to stay right where you're at in this second that's the ideal thing if we could all just do that I'm wearing uh, Scott some of Skye's ashes and my wedding ring this was the second wedding ring he bought me uh, I had a hard time wearing the rings that we had when we went down to the Zen Center for the Buddhist wedding ceremony um, just the way that they were made uh, he had no problem wearing his but it was it's a titanium band it's like this band it's like my memento mori band it's like this band but it was just a little bit thicker and a little bit wider and I couldn't bend my finger right um, and so he got me this little wedding band from the local store that has a really nice jewelry department and we got it on sale um, and so um, I wear that along with his, some of his ashes so later on I'll go on to his obituary site and I'll put another um, little note for him I do that every Tuesday I also do it the 27th of each month I also do it uh, if there's a special day you know 
I mean, every day is special when it comes to him, but, um, you know, if it's like when his birthday comes up, um, when our anniversaries come up, uh, all that, I'll do it. Um, I did it for the holidays. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about right this second. What I want to talk about is where I am and what's been happening. Let me fill you in on what's been happening. So yesterday I caught a ride to get spring water and to go to the corner store. I spent $70 and I went to the bank and then I, my friend drove me to both CVS and Rite Aid because I'm looking for this particular hair color that I used the last time. It's a super, super light blonde. It's a nice and easy, it comes in a purple box. It's a brand new color and I got it at Walmart but I wasn't going to Walmart. So he said, I'll take you to CVS. You can check there. I'll take you to Rite Aid because they're like next to each other and you can check there. And the reason why he, he drives me around every now and then stuff like that is because he's a Mason and um, he does a lot for the community. So he's a, you know, do, do good things person. So I have flowers. I actually have a bouquet that I divided between two vases. Um, one of them is right over there on the music box. There, there, right there. And the other one is in my bedroom. Uh, they're, they were bought at the corner grocery store. Super pricey they're not going to hold up very long. I think they had them for a little while, but I was so grateful. He knows my birthday's coming up. And he said, do you mind if I buy some fresh flowers for your apartment? And I said, I really don't want you to spend that kind of money. I just thought it was a little much, but he got the flowers. I appreciate them. They're beautiful. And I'm going to try to keep them alive as long as I can. I put the packet in both vases. So where am I? I got stuff going on. Um, so this video is going to be very two-sided. It's going to, there's going to be a lot of positive and then there's going to be something over here that's going to be a little difficult. And I already spent seven minutes, so just bear with me. Um, I'm good. And when I say I'm good, I mean I'm good. As far as the whole situation with Sky passing on. Now, I want to make something really clear here is that Sky did not want to die. Like when I say that Sky wasn't afraid to die, and when I say that Sky had no regrets in life, and when I say that Sky said he did everything he wanted to, that doesn't mean Sky wanted to die. He didn't want to die. He had no choice in the matter. His body decided it was time for him to go. One of the last things he was able to say to me that I could understand was, I don't want to leave you. Yeah. Um, but when I say he wasn't afraid, he wasn't afraid. That doesn't mean he wanted it to happen. I think there was a little confusion with a person or two that he didn't want it to happen. Uh, so I've had a couple of rough days, a couple of rough spells, a couple of really big bumps in the road, right? And then something happened. I'm in a Facebook group. You know me and Facebook. I don't like Facebook. I just can't, I just can't connect the way other people can. There's people that can put post after post after post. I'm not great at that. Um, the most I put up is I steal somebody else's, I borrow somebody else's quote, throw it over on my page. If I like it, I'll leave maybe five of them on and then I'll delete them all because that's just what I do. But I'm in a couple of groups. I think I'm in two. Uh, 
something like kindness and gent kind and gentle souls and uh, widows and widowers under a year. So if, if you're a widow under a year um, or a widower, that's the group for you. And it's a decent group. It is a very decent group. There's not hollering back and forth. People aren't carrying on, you know. Um, it's a lot of, some of it, some questions like what it, you know, what did I miss in my paperwork? Or what would you have done differently in p paperwork? Like people are asking really good questions. And anyway, I saw a woman who just had a birthday and she put a, posted a picture of herself with her birthday cake. And I think she turned 56. And she said, and I'm paraphrasing all this, okay? She said she was gonna celebrate her birthday to the fullest, just the way her and her husband did did each year that he would not want her to not celebrate her birthday he would not want that and just reading that was like a light bulb moment for me sky would not like i know sky sky would never ever want me to be sad to sit and cry and carry on and lose sleep. Let me turn the fan a little bit. Um, he would, he just wouldn't. Now Sky knew, like we talked about, you know, one of us passing and what would the other one be feeling? He knew there would be tears on either side. We both talked about a certain period of mourning, which we didn't know how long that would be. What would, what would this feel like? And it feels different for everyone. I'm learning. But the one thing he stressed over and over was, this life is very temporary. Every life we live is very temporary. And we know that. As humans, we know um, it's finite. It's not infinite, right? So we know we're gonna go. And he always says, don't waste it. Like, don't waste it. Like, Sky would spend all of his time, if he could, walking just walking the world, walking places, looking at things. He just loved to be outside walking. And he loved certain movies, certain books. He loved life minus people. If he could have life minus never being around anybody except maybe me, and not even me all the time, <laughs> to be honest, um, Sky would be, you know, like a pig in mud. Um, but I know my sky, I know the, what he would want for me and what he wouldn't want. And there's no way under the sun sky would want me to be falling apart. He wouldn't. So I'm into my sixth month. It's a, I think it's a pivotal time for me, I think. Halfway through the year, um, I got through half the holidays, half the special occasions. But what I'm realizing is, it's the moments in between those occasions that I'm remembering the most. Like, absolutely. Um, I'm starting to remember all of the little things, the little days, the little events that him and I went through. And I'm remembering them with happiness and with joy. I'm not remembering them with um, sadness and sorrow. If I, if I, um, I, I, I struggled, I said I, I struggled at the lake. I can't struggle at the lake anymore. We had some of the best moments together holding hands at that lake. That lake actually is very precious. Part of my man is in there, right? The physical part. And back to nature, just as he always wanted, back to nature. And his Gallic name was Iesk, Iesker, Iesker. The fisherman, fisherman. Iesk is fish. Iesker, fisherman. Um, he was a water baby. He loved the water. And so to have some of him placed in the water that's like home to him you know so that's the way i'm looking at the lake that's the way i'm looking at any of the places we went 
if we would go to the Mexican restaurant, which we loved, and get chicken taco salad, um, amazing memories there. We celebrated his birthday there a couple years in a row, and this really sweet waitress, she would give him a free dessert, put a candle in it. Um, I can't remember the name of the dessert. I want to say like flam. Put in the comments if you know what the dessert would be in a Mexican restaurant. And he, I have pictures of, pictures of him and he's just beaming. So my point in all this is, and that's not saying I'm not going to have a moment. If I hear that Donovan song, Catch the Wind, I'm probably going to cry. If I decide to root through all the pictures, I'm probably going to shed a tear. Um, the, on the morning of my birthday, I'm probably going to have a moment. But the, the point is, is that I'm now beyond racking my brain daily, um, running myself through the ringer, the sadness ringer, because he passed away, because he was 71, because he was ill, because his body couldn't sustain life anymore, and because we had so many talks, and because I'm still alive. And I want to live. I want to experience what life has. I don't want to spend it the way I've been spending it. You know, I want to catch some really good movies. I want to get back out there and get my walks in. I want to do my exercise here. You know, I want to pull my fancy little clothes out of the closet. I want to go down to the lake and walk it. I want to figure out a way on how to get a car at some point down the road, down the road. Um, but I want to live. Sky would want me to live. Sky would not want me to be in continual sorrow. And I know Sky would, if it was me first, he would be sipping green tea, sitting meditation, um, finding nirvana. And he would be thinking of me with amazingly beautiful memories most of the time. So it's easier said than done for all of us, I think. But for me, it's a mindset. If I'm going to drift around here being sad and miserable and crying and lonely and all that, that's what I'm going to be. But I'm praying that I have a lot of life left in me, time-wise. And in that time, my hope is that I get to meet people. My hope is that I get to talk to some of you guys on the phone. My hope is that I get to build and cultivate friendships for the first time in my life. Now that I'm about to turn 65, now it's time to grow up. What do you want to be when you grow up, poet? I want to be an adult. I want to be a friend to people. I want to be a help, you know. So that's where I am. So there, there will be those moments, but there's also not going to be many of them because I don't want there to be many of them. He was an amazing man, and I want to celebrate that. And I also will celebrate the times when he was not so amazing because he was not perfect. And any of us who have lost someone, we know that. You know, like we know our person, man or woman, was not perfect. But it's interesting how when they pass away, we become fixated on this perfect person who had to leave us and the depths of our loneliness and the depths of our loss. And, and we lost that perfect person. Was that, perfect, was that person perfect? Was it always amazing? No, I don't think so. But it's just what we knew. And um, so I knew it for almost 14 years. And I'm so grateful. I'm grateful for every single second, even the bad seconds. But it's time to start living. It's time to live. Like, I'm in the sixth month. We hit 23 weeks. So many people said to me in the beginning, it's a time thing, poet. It's a time thing. And you all were right. You all were right. It's a time thing. And the more time that goes by, the gentler and softer this gets. I'm dripping ice cold water on my leg. I have shorts on ice cold water from my, from my cup. Now I'm going to flip gears for just a minute. I'm going to keep this very brief. I'm not going to go into specifics. 
Um, but first off, um, it's growing. I just got to say that. My hair. Um, and I'm one day, let's see, of my taper. 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm one day 24. I'm one day 24 of my taper, and I'm at 2.5 milligrams of Ativan. I started out at 4 milligrams 23 days ago. I'm at 2.5, and I've been at 2.5 for the past 12 days. I just didn't say anything because I didn't want anybody to get all worried about me. So I'm 12 days in at 2.5. And I'll stay there a while. I'm listening to my body. I'll stay there a while. Excuse me. Okay, so this is important. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I don't need to. And I would prefer not a lot of questions because I, I can't and won't give answers because a lot of them I don't have. But some people have asked me about my son, Kenny, and how is Kenny? And what I will say is this, um, Kenny has had a drug addiction issue, problem, dependency for a very long time, from when he was 13 on, and he's 35. Um, Kenny spent some time in county jail, he spent some time in state prison, a decent amount of time in state prison, five years and seven months, three years off and on doing county jail, multiple, multiple arrests. Um, a felony record. Um, some things have been expunged, some things not. Then Kenny served his entire sentence. He got out after serving his whole time and he got very sick. And so um, he has an autoimmune disease. He has Sjogren's secondary. And um, he's Some, thing, some things, like sometimes no matter what you go through, it doesn't change the addiction part. So Kenny is having a dependency problem. And I know that through a very reliable grapevine. And he also has his illness and he's not taking care of himself at all. Now that's hard for me to say across the board. It's hard for me to say. Um, it's hard for me to know, but as a mom or as a family member, you, like, you always know it, you know? You always know it and um, so when I add everything up in my head that's happening, nothing would surprise me as far as what the future holds for my son. Um, now, of course, I'm hopeful for the best, but I'm also realistic. So that's all that I know. And um, I'm just going to let it at that. And uh, that's not news I wanted to give. I would have preferred to give something completely different. But I can't. So um, for those of you who pray, please do. Um, for those who give positive vibes, please do. Uh, and I'm doing my best to balance all the feelings and all the emotions and all the thoughts that go with one, you know, what I went through losing Sky, what Sky went through losing his life, uh, where I am now with moving forward because every day we move forward even if we have the crummiest day even if it's the worst day ever for us we're still moving forward and 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 there are times people will say i can't do it i can't do it but you're doing it you're doing it it might be painful to do it it might be a lot of tears to do it it might be you stay in bed all day to do it but you're doing it 
we don't really have a choice but to do it. And then for me, it came down to how do I want to do it? How do I want to move forward day after day? And there's enough bad, sad, disappointing things happening over here that I can't be a part of for a lot of reasons. Um, and at the same time, be very okay with where I am in my life because I make a I make a choice every day on how I'm going to be when I wake up, 25 minutes. Every morning when I wake up, I make a choice as to how I'm going to tackle the day emotionally and mentally, right? Uh, and I'm choosing to wake up and go through my day with a positive attitude, with looking forward to anything new and good and exciting. Now over here, I know that there's a lot happening that's not good. I am very aware that at any point I could get a phone call that I don't want to get. But I know that that's a reality. And so I'm bracing myself for a reality. And, um, but I'm putting it somewhere safely in my brain. Yeah. And if something comes up that I need to address and deal with and roll around in my little pea brain, I will. But the situation over here has been a situation that I have dealt with for a very long time. It is a well-worn path, a well-worn road, and it's very tiring and it's, it's very old to be very honest. Um, choices, 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 absolutely choices. And uh, so that's where I'm at right now. There's a, I'm holding a coin with both sides, you know, but I'm okay. You know, I'm looking at things very realistically and very logically and I want to get some life out of the life that I have left is the best way I can put it. So I'm going to go and uh, I want everyone to do the best that they can do. Just do the best you can do. Even if you're saying, I don't know how to do this, you'll do it. It might be scratching and clawing your way, but you'll do it. You know, you'll get it done. You'll get to the end of the day, you know, how the hell I did that? But you, you'll do it. Anybody needs me, I'm over on Messenger under Poet Quinn. Keep that in mind. You can find me over there. Um, and I don't check uh, Gmail anymore, so I don't respond to anything on Gmail. But you can all get me over on Messenger. And I'm pretty good with getting back promptly. I had a couple of days where things were a little bit rough for me, but I'm um, beyond that now. Um, I have a couple of really amazing guardian angels. It's so interesting how people just appear and they're, and they're, I have, there's one woman, I'm not going to name names, but there's one woman and you know who you are. She's just, I, I thank God for her every single minute of my day. I thank God for her. I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to finish this while it's still nice and cold and I'm going to go take an ibuprofen. I have this little bit of a headache. So one ibuprofen and then I'm just going to get through the rest of my day. I'm going to maybe try to catch a movie, see if I can find a good comedy and, um, and then figure out what I want to do for dinner. I've got the freezers full, the fridge is full, and figure out what I want to do for dinner later, and uh, get a shower or a, a nice warm bubble bath later, and that'll be the end of my day. And we'll move on to what's next. So take care. Reach out to me if you need to, or reach out to me even if you don't need to.